<laughs> hey everyone, I'm Saskia's brother. My name is Orly. I'm in the fifth grade at the co-op school. You may know me. The Lovely Summer is what I'm going to read today, and it's by Mark Simont. Show the cover. Yes. Show the cover. Oh, so it's a blank oh, cover. No, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a blank cover. All right. Green. The Lovely Summer by Mark Simont. Mark Simont. Hmm? Fordock. Gladys and Jerome were cottontail rabbits. Hopping through the woods with their children one day, they came upon a clearing. Look, said Gladys, people. A man and a woman were digging in the dirt. A small dog was asleep nearby. Jerome eyed them suspiciously. I wonder what they're up to, he whispered. People looked up from their vegetable garden and saw the rabbits. The little dog woke up and barked. Time to go, said Jerome, and they ran back into the woods. Why do we always run from people, Gladys asked. Jerome was surprised at the question. Because we're shy, he explained. All rabbits are shy. Look, rabbits! Look, rabbits! The next time the rabbits came to the clearing, there was a fence around the garden. What a pretty fence, Gladys said. Pretty fence? Jerome was busy digging and he didn't hear. The garden was filled with wonderful things to eat. Eat the spinach, children, said Gladys. It's very good for you. Hey, called Jerome, look at yonder. There, glaring at them through the fence, stood Globby the woodchuck. That oh. pest, said Gladys. Thanks, thank goodness for the fence. Suddenly the little dog came yapping at Globby and chased him away. Such a good little dog, Gladys said. Then the people came and made a fuss. Time to go, said Jerome. Sometime later, the rabbits were surprised to find a large box in the garden. What's that, Jerome wanted to know. Looks like a little house, answered Gladys. Do you suppose they want us to live here? He wondered. Not so fast, warned Jerome. It could be a trap. Don't be ridiculous, said Gladys. Then she saw the carrot inside the box. Look, she said. The nice people even set up breakfast for us. Beat it! The rabbits froze in their tracks. Globby, they gasped. You heard me, Globby snarled. Ow! This is not for you, Globby, said Gladys bravely. This is our garden, Jerome added. Beat it, Globby said again. He took a step toward them. Globby was big. Time to go, said Jerome, leading a very, leading a hasty retreat back to the woods. Yes. Globe looked around the garden and gloated. It's all mine, he said. Then he saw the carrot. I think I'll start here. But just as he put the carrot, wham! The trap door slammed shut. Globby was caught. At dusk, the people came and took the box away. By the time the rabbits felt it was safe to return, the garden was in its full midsummer splendor. Where's Globby? asked one of the little ones. There were no signs of Globby anywhere. The garden is beautiful, Gladys exclaimed, and the rabbits settled down to their feast. Such nice people, Gladys observed. They even pulled up the weeds. Yeah, said Jerome, and left us to the good stuff. When the people arrived to weed the garden, they seemed upset. Little dogs started barking. Time to go, said Jerome, and the rabbits knew what to do. Early one morning, uh, the man took a gun and headed for the garden. Squinting through the morning mist, he saw what he looked like a rabbit behind a tomato plant. Bang! Bang! What was that? Jerome asked. Let's go and find out, said Gladys. Rabbits may be shy, but they're also curious. When they got there, the man was walking away, gun in one hand, a leaky can in the other. Why did the man do that, Daddy? asked one of the children. Jerome thought, thought for a moment. People do strange things, he said. <laughs> Days went by. The rabbits spent nearly all their time in the garden. People hardly came. They didn't even weed it. One frosty morning, the people put suitcases in their car, locked up the cottage, and started off. As they drove past the garden, the man leaned out the window and shook the, his fist at the rabbits. Look, said Gladys, the, light, the nice man is waving to us. Wave back, everybody. The rabbits kept waving as the car went down the lane, turned the corner, and was gone. I hope those nice people come back next year, said Jerome. Me too, said Gladys. They were so good to us. It's been a lovely summer. Bye. The end. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. I guess that uh, car that looks exactly like the car in the book. Really? Yes. Okay. Thanks for watching.